Hi everyone, let's solve for the value of A. First, we need to introduce log to both sides of this equation since what we are looking for is the exponents. So we are going to write log 4 to the power of A is equal to log 100. Now remember that when you have log A raised to the power of B, that this is equal to B multiplied by log A, okay? So that's what it means that we can write this as A multiplied by log 4 is equal to log 100. Now we are looking for A. So let's divide both sides of this equation by log 4. So we have A multiplied by log 4 divided by log 4 is equal to log 100 divided by log 4. Okay? All right. Now, when log 4 divides itself, we have 1. 1 times a, we give us a, is equal to log 100 divided by log 4. Okay, now, we are going to express 100 in terms of 4, okay? Because we need to simplify this further. All right, so we have a is equal to log now 100 is same thing as 25 multiplied by 4 so we have 25 multiplied by 4 divided by log 4 now recall that log a multiplied by b is equal to log a plus log b so that means that we can write this as a is equal to log 25 plus log 4 divided by log 4, okay? Now, remember that A plus B divided by C is equal to A divided by C plus B divided by C. Now, if this is the first time you have seen us, please click the subscription button and turn your notification bell so that you don't miss our amazing videos. We upload our videos every day. So, turn in as a convenience to watch our new uploads and please give us a thumbs up if you're actually enjoying this video. Thank you very much. So, that means that we can write this as A is equal to log 25 divided by log 4 plus log 4 divided by log 4, okay? So we have that A is equal to log 25 divided by log 4 plus 1 because when log 4 divides itself, we have 1. All right, so to simplify this further, recall that 25 is equal to 5 squared and 4 is equal to 2 squared, okay? So that means that we can write this as A is equal to log 5 squared divided by log 2 squared plus 1, okay? All right, now remember that when you have log A, raised to the power of B, just like we said earlier, that this is equal to B multiplied by log A. So that means that we can write this as A is equal to 2 multiplied by log 5 divided by 2 multiplied by log 2. Okay? All right. Plus 1. Now, we have that A is equal to, then this two, we cancel this two, and we have log five divided by log two plus one, okay? All right, now we can simplify this further as A is equal to one plus, now log A divided by log B, is equal to log A base B, okay? So that means that we can write this as 1 plus log 5 base 2. And this is the value of our A. Now, let's see if this is actually true. Will this give us the required solution? Let's see. Now, remember that we are told that 4 to the power of A is equal to 100, okay? So that means that 4 to the power of 1 plus log 5 base 2 is equal to 100, okay? 
All right. Now, when you have a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m multiplied by a to the power of n. So that means that we can write this as 4 to the power of 1 multiplied by 4 to the power of log 5 base 2. Okay. Is this equal to 100? So 4 to the power of 1 is 4 multiplied by, now because this is base 2, let's change this to 2. All right, so this in index form is 2 to the power of 2. So we have 2 to the power of 2 raised to the power of log 5 base 2. Is this really equal to 100? Now, we have 4 multiplied by 2. Now, this 2 will become the power of 5, right? So we have log 5 squared base 2. Is this equal to Hundred. Now let's continue from here. So we have that four multiplied by two raised to the power of log. Now five squared is twenty-five, and we have base two. Is this equal to hundred? Okay. Now recall that when you have a to the power of log b base a. They share the same base. The pairs are equal. Then this is equal to B. That means that we can write this as 4 multiplied by this and this. They are the same, right? So this is 25. Is this equal to 100? Well, basic knowledge of a multiplication table tells us that 4 multiplied by 25 is 100, right? So we have 100 is equal to 100. And that proves that the answer we got is correct. Thank you so much for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.